Hey everybody, Sean Keenan here, and in this tutorial for Tuts Plus, I'm going to show you how to install scripts for Maya and also a configuration file um, for ZBrush so that you can get my configuration or whatever configuration that you want uh, to work properly. So, uh, for first instance here, let's go ahead and do the scripts for Maya. So, what I want to go ahead and do here is I'm just simply going to move um, my off screen here okay and I've already gone ahead and downloaded a couple scripts from creativecrash.com um, so that we can go ahead and learn how to install them properly and uh, understand how to source them through Maya okay so first things that I want to go ahead and do here is you can see that we have um, two script packages for Maya uh, this spkui.cfg is for ZBrush which is just a configuration file and I'm going to show you how to install that as well okay but you can see that we have two uh, script packages here and I just want to unroar these okay but I already know what's in them so what I'm going to go ahead and do here is just simply create two new folders I'm going to create one folder which is going to be a scripts folder okay and I'm also going to go ahead here and create an icons folder Okay, so we'll go ahead and open up this Wiz Controllers folder first. Okay, and you can see here, usually when you download a script from the internet, um, whether it be from Creative Crash or another site, you usually will get a README um, that will show you how to install those scripts so how, um, so they do work properly. And let's take a look here. It's it. <clears throat> simply says put the Wiz icons folder to the uh, Maya 2011 preferences icons folder uh, and the 2011 scripts folder whereas this one here um, is technically wrong because you can just simply put it in the Maya scripts folder and it doesn't have to be a Maya version specific folder okay but we can see here how we're gonna go ahead and actually run that script as well um, the really important one here too is the preferences icons so what I'm saying there is if we need um, or if we have multiple installations of um, Maya on our computer you simply have to put the icons in each corresponding version of Maya's um, preferences icons folder to actually get those to work properly um, and that can cause script issues so let's go ahead here and close this okay and we're simply just going to take our Wiz Controllers Mel script here. I'm going to drag it into my script folder that I've created on my desktop. And I'm going to take the Wiz icons, the entire folder, and just throw that into the icons folder here. And we're also going to go in here and install this ABX Picker script. Okay. So we don't need the test scene here. But we will need the ABX Picker Mel. So we'll go ahead and throw that into a scripts folder. And we'll take the ABX picker BMP, throw that into the icons folder here. We can go ahead and close this. Let me go ahead here and just move these real quick and delete them since we're pretty much done with them. Okay, now what I want you to do is go into your My Computer, Users, Documents, and you'll find the Maya library of folders like this. Okay, so this is your scripts folder. Now, any script that you download you should go ahead and just put in here so what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and take the scripts that we extracted what will be our ABX picker script and our Wiz controller script and we'll just simply drag and drop that into our scripts folder okay and go ahead and close that and we'll just simply delete that now for the icons as you can see I only have a Maya 2011 folder here but like I said, if you have multiple different installations of Z or uh, Maya here, you'll not only have, say, something like Maya 2011, you'll have 2012-64, um, 2013 64 2014-64, or if it's just the 32-bit versions, you would just have 2011, 2012, 2013, and 2014. And to install the icons here, we're going to go ahead here jump into my 
my 2011-64 uh, preferences icons and we're going to throw all those icons in here so we'll just grab and drag and drop those in there now if you had multiple different um, installations of Maya you would just simply have to uh, take the icons and just simply copy and paste them into you know whatever corresponding version of Maya that you would be using okay so now let's come in here and go ahead and launch our script so you can see that this is going to work and since we have the um, initialization here of the WIS controllers I'm just going to simply copy and paste how we're going to go ahead here and launch that script let's go ahead and bring Maya back here and since Maya was open whenever I installed those I have to type in rehash which is R-E-H-A-S-H -H. just hit enter okay so Maya basically gets a restart there go ahead and paste that code and there you can see where we can source that script and that's how you would in install scripts for Maya to go ahead and work so now what I want to do is go ahead and show you how to load configuration files inside of ZBrush and I'm just opening ZBrush now so it'll just take a second or two to load here and here you come in where ZBrush is okay so to load a configuration file here inside of ZBrush all you need to do is just come up here to preferences config load UI and we'll just simply select the SPK UI dot CFG and nothing has changed because this is um, the configuration that I'm already using so we'll just go ahead here and switch to a, a standard UI so we'll come in here and just load UI and there you can see where it changes but now if I went and shut ZBrush and opened it back up I would still have that default value or the default configuration and to make sure that you um, stay with inside of this configuration all you have to do is hit the store configuration and it'll save that configuration so every time you open up ZBrush you would get you know the downloaded configuration and that's a way that we can install scripts for Maya and a way that we can install the configuration files for ZBrush. Uh, thanks a lot for watching everybody and uh, keep an eye on the website for more tutorials to come.